Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Iskal Tresta. I am the city project manager for this project, and I will be responsible for day-to-day -day operation of this project. And today's meeting is for streetlight improvements at Trail Leg Drive. Uh, this project is about to go on construction. Construction will begin um, late next month. And the objective from today's meeting is, number one, to get any feedback from you all regarding the project. Number two, if there is anything um, that we need to know uh, prior or during construction, please let us know, and we will try to incorporate the, that in, 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 in this project. <clears throat> That being said, the city project number for this project is 103301. And Kim Lee Horn and Associates is the, is the design engineer for this project. And general contractor for this project is Bean Electric Inc. Today is May 18, 2022. It's about 6 or 7 p.m. The agenda for today's meeting is um, I'm going to briefly talk about the project background, give you project update. Also talk about project schedule and funding. Uh, at the end of the presentation, we will take any questions or feedback you, you may have regarding this project. Um, before I start with the agenda item, I'd like to introduce the project team to you all. Um, today in the call, we have Lisset Acevedo. She is a program manager for TPW Capital Delivery. And we also have Jeff Allen, uh, he's a uh, communication specialist for TPW Capital Delivery, and it's called Arnold from uh, from Kimley Hone and Associates. He is the engineer of record for this project, and Amber from Kimley Hone and Associates. Um, uh, the city inspector for this project is Lipika Tolliver. Unfortunately, he's not available today. Um, uh, and uh, Drew Newton should be here, but I don't see him from from the uh, from the Bean Electric. The project goal and purpose. Uh, the goal of the project is to install a street light all along so the project corridor. There it is. I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat that again. The project goal and purpose is to install the street light along the neighborhood street to promote the safety and security. This project also aligns with the city's strategic goal to make city, city afford for the necessary Nathan safest major city. Project limit and scope. Um, the project corridor is on the uh, Trail Lake Drive um, from Sycamore School Road at, in south and Alta Mesa Boulevard in north. Uh, as you can see on the screen, the, uh, the blue highlighted sex, uh, section is the project corridor. And the project scope is to install the street light along the project corridor at maximum of 200 feet apart. And we are also upgrading the three existing street light, which is in the project corridor, and replacing one existing street light. The existing condition, uh, majority of the project corridor doesn't have any any street light. As you can imagine, during night, it most, most, it's going to be really dark. As you can see in the pictures uh, the, uh, on the screen on the left, um, was taken at the Trail Lake Drive, looking south towards the looking towards the Sycamore School. I believe this picture was taken by that church trademark church, and you can see there are no street lights. That's the existing condition. And the picture on the right was taken at the intersection of Trail Lake Drive and. Um, uh, President and the Kingwood Drive um, uh, by that apartment complex. There are some uh, some uh, street light at that location. However, as part of this project, we are going to upgrade those street lights. The proposed condition after after the uh, the, the project is complete, uh, that we are planning uh, we are proposing um, the street light, which is going uh, arterial LED luminary street light, which is almost going to be 34 feet high. The pole, arms, and fixture uh, will be power coded to black, and a house. Uh, they, they will have a house side seal to prevent the light transpassing. The existing <clears throat> supply that you see on the right of the screen, on the right side of the screen, we are going to repaint them to black, and the fixture we are going to upgrade that to LED. Okay. 
Um, this is the project exhibit. Uh, as you can see, this is a Sycamore School uh, Drive, um, which is not part of the project limits. And this is a Trail Lake Drive, and this is the Alta Mesa Boulevard, which is the north, north, north end of the project. Um, the red, blue, and green symbol indicates the, the location of the of this uh, of the new of the street light. Well, the red indicates the location, approximate location of the new street light. The blue indicates the location of existing street light, which we are going to repaint it to black and, and, and upgrading the luminaire to LED. And the green, which is at the intersection of that, um, uh, by Kingwood Drive and the Trail Lake Drive, uh, we, the green indicates the replacing the existing with the new one. Now from uh, uh, the corridor between the Sycamore School and the Kingwood Drive, you can see the street light at the both, both sides of the street. However, from the Kingwood Drive to the Alta Mesa Boulevard, um, the street light will be installed at the east, east side of the street between the backup curb and the sidewalk. The project team also prepared some visualization of how it will look after after the project is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and play this uh, video. Um, as you uh, as the video plays, think that you are driving up north at the Trail Lake Drive from Sycamore School. As you can see in the video, the street light are the both end of the uh, both side of the street from Sycamore to that apartment complex. back again. Okay, I'd like to stop here. This is the intersection of Kingwood Drive and, and, and the Trail Lake Drive. As you see, up to this point, you this, the street light were installed e either side of the street. From here on, you should be uh, seeing the street light at the east side of the street between the backup curb and sidewalk. I, I will go ahead and play the video. This is the intersection of Alta Mesa Boulevard and Trail Lake Drive. This is the uh, uh, north uh, limit of the project limit. Uh, this concludes the visualization. Let me go to the next agenda. Um, next agenda is schedule that the, the construction is gonna begin uh, at uh, last week of June and, and the contractor have 120 calendar days to complete, that pro uh, complete the project, which makes the substantial completion to be in October of 2022. Um, this project is funded from 2018 bond fund. Um, since the construction is going to begin, I will, uh, I highly, um, please anticipate some delay during the construction while the lane are closed. 
we, I don't anticipate, we don't anticipate any street closure. However, the lane closure is anticipated um, um, for the installation of the street light and, and the installation of the foundation for the street light. Um, the contractor will be getting a street use permit from the, from the city and traffic control will be in place to help the traffic. Um, I highly recommend uh, for the road user to watch uh, for the construction crew during construction. Um, and let us know if you if you have any concern or, or questions um, that pop up, pops up during construction. That concludes the, the presentation slides for the, this project. Um, before I take any questions, I like to um, give my my and city inspector contact information. Again, my name is Iskal Stresta. My phone number is eight one seven. 392-7254. I will repeat that again. It's 817-392-7254. If you have any questions or feedback, uh, do either before or during construction, please give me a, give me a call. And you can also reach out to the city inspector, uh, who is Lipka Toliver, and his phone number is 972-802-5271. I'll repeat that again, it's 972-802-5271. That being said, um, we want to please unmute yourself and ask any question that you have regarding this project. But Jeff, is there any any question that that came up on the chat box? No, there's nothing in chat uh, at the moment. Uh, if you are a call in user, there are a couple, uh, and you were muted because of some background noise. You can hit star six to unmute just in case you have any questions, so you know how to unmute yourself. Is it possible to review the slides? Sure, which slides do you want to see? Uh, I just wondered, can I download them or look at them one at a time here at home? Yeah, we can. We can provide that to you. Um, is there any way you can put your contact information on the chat box, please? Uh, chat. Um, let me see. Yeah. Chat. Okay. Uh, don't Mr. Dotson, you can you can send that privately to um, either myself or Iskal um, if you don't want to put it out there publicly, or you can email um, Iskal. Oh, okay, I'll just later. email. I'll just email. <laughs> I'll just email Iskal and uh, and ask for those. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions or, or any feedback? And again, um, as I said, we are about to start construction and, and, and the, uh, my goal is to minimize any impact, but there will be some uh, yeah, yeah, to the roadway the user, either 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 the road user or, or the sidewalk user, but my goal is to minimize as much as possible. I know you said how it would be funded, but is do we also have an idea of the cost of the project? Yes, I do. I don't have the exact number right in front of, in front of me right, right now. Um, is there any way you can send me an email and then I can provide you the exact information, how much was the construction versus uh, versus what was the total total cost for the project? I don't I don't have top of my head right now. I don't remember, but I can okay. find out. On the I was just product. curious. Yeah, I do know that. Yeah, but, but I don't. I don't remember right now. If you don't mind sending me sending me an email, then I can provide that to you. Sure. Is there any other question? Our feedback.
So if it looks like I don't, I, it looks like there is there is no more questions or, or any any feedback. Um, if that's the case, um, again, our team would like to thank you all for taking time to attend this community engagement meeting. Um, and that being said, we'd like to uh, we will close this meeting and thank you everyone for joining. Thank you very much.